Hey, hello everybody. It's been a few days since I've made a video. We've uh, been right out straight out in the greenhouse. I'll do an update here in a few minutes. But uh, it's a beautiful day out. About 25 degrees. <clears throat> Look at that. We got sunshine. First time in a few days. Still a mess here where it snowed the other day, but that's all right. It's kind of just had frozen snow now. Good to walk on. Not good to sled on as far as runner sleds, but, you know, it's just plain old winter snow. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll show you what I'm up to. I got uh, two or three days here. We didn't have power. I couldn't work in my shop because all this shop down here is on a, it's not on the generator. So what we're doing, these here are part of the truss system. And... <clears throat> for it to go uh we wasn't making them 58 but it's got like a half inch sag so i'm gonna go to 57 and a half and that's outside to outside so what we do is just pull that back that's a little too much by a quarter of an inch and uh Yeah, that right there is get a little extra meat to trim. That's good. Take the marker. We'll uh, make a little mark right there. That'll be our cut line. Chase that thing around. And now we'll put in the old chop saw here. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to keep the camera going for all this, but... Um, I'm going to make probably four pairs so that this one will go to this and then I'll take this one and slide this up there and then I'll put the next one down and you just keep doing that and you keep losing a little bit every time but I got some extra pipe of this see I got another short piece there so eventually you get them all done anyway and they'll be longer but you have to take two different pipes to make the length up Otherwise, you have to actually weld two piece, you know, one piece right in the middle, which I might do that on the last one. Um, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, yeah, so we'll just put it in the chop saw here. And uh, like everything down here, it's a mess, but story of my life, I just come down and use it and leave. And, you know, I should... Uh, should clean up once in a while, but seems like that's easier said than done. So anyway, slide that right through there. Something like that. And uh, you know, guys, <laughs> I should have my uh, tripod. It's out in the greenhouse right now, but there we go. And let's see, we are plugged in. This is an old Kalamazoo, if you're curious. I'm not really sure of the model. Oh, yeah, I never really... 7AW, it says. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. take about an eighth off this so it's not much. Then 
to put a chamfer on it. And then I'll grind off all the galvanizing on the grinder. And once we've machined it, then you always put it. Yeah, it's a 16th long. I'm not worrying about it for a greenhouse. So, yeah, and I mark each end with a two. You know, well, I thought I had that marked with a two. Huh. Guess I didn't. Anyway, we'll mark this other end with a two. Whoop, I had that one in there. That's kind of odd, ain't it? I got two shots with a two. Cut the wrong end off. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to remark this one, scribble that one over, and uh, all I got to do now is weld them. Hey, everybody. It's the afternoon now. We've been running errands. Those there is where those pipes go that we've been shortening. And, uh, well, actually, we've been lengthening them. That's right. We didn't shorten them. We lengthened them. We put a piece in. But uh, we'll get the furnace going. We're running out of a bucket, but that's all right. And the electrician, he had to leave for a few minutes, but he's getting us on the cover. Carol just came back. Looking guilty, like she's been up to something. She went in where it was warm. It was cold out here when we first got here. But we just got done putting all these purlins up. And as you can see, things are coming along. We still haven't got the fan in the back yet. We've uh, assembled a few more of the benches. These benches there, they just use PVC for the legs. And uh, anyway, this is how far out they were gonna come. We had to get a set up so we knew where to hang these purlins. So later on, the pot don't interfere with the aisle. Which, that's what we was looking for, you know, to have it off the side. And uh, we'd like to actually have it back about another two or three inches, but then it gets down too low for the plants underneath. So you got to compromise. It's like everything, it's not a perfect scenario, but we do the best we can. We did get one of our uh, Green Tech fans up. We got three more of those to put up. And... Anyway, we're in the process of hooking up the oil tank right now. I'm going to hook the whistle up to it first, and then uh, I think tomorrow or Monday, hopefully tomorrow, but if not Monday, they're going to fill the oil tank up. It's a uh, pretty nice tank. We got everything down there hooked up. The only thing we didn't use was a fire stop because you ain't going to get any heat in this place, you know. The plastic will just melt, so it's, it's a mute point. But uh, we do have one on the furnace. But yeah, so we gotta put our stuff in there. We've got a gauge right here. So I'm gonna go back to work. Just thought I'd give you a little update. Talk to you later. If you like it, don't hesitate to subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you later.